Hi, uh, my name is Nitesh. I work for the Bioconductor core team. Uh, I'm here to talk to you guys about scalable computing in bioconductors. So um, initially, like, I just want to go over like, what this MapReduce paradigm is in R. You use this function lapply, you give it a vector x, and you have some function you want to apply on every element of this vector, and the magic happens behind the scenes. Right? So in Bioconductor, we have a package called BioC Parallel, which does the same kind of things for Bioconductor objects. It follows the same interface as lapply. It's called BP lapply, right? Um, and it, you give it a vector x, a function, and uh, the most important thing here is this uh, argument called BP param, um, which essentially determines like uh, the back end you want to use for your parallel evaluation. So just as a quick example, I wanted to go over um, how you approximate the value of pi in a unit square. Uh, you can do this parallelly, um, and the function takes in uh, a large value of uniform random numbers, and uh, we're going to run it four times, um, and the function goes like this, right? So BPL apply a vector of length four, and you pass it the function pi of prox. So the first two uh, lines of code show you how you would run it in a serial fashion using the parameter serial param. The last one on the slide shows you how you run it using a multi-core parameter. So this is the first time you're actually parallelizing it, multiple cores across your machine. But now, if you want to take it to a cluster, um, you log into whatever master node you have, um, and you want to use the grid engine. Like For this example, we're using the Sun grid engine. And you say, I have four workers. Um, my cluster is an SGE cluster. And my param is called a batch tools param. This is a new implementation. And um, you pass this parameter to your function BPL apply. And the magic happens on your Sun Grid Engine cluster, right? Um, so based on the institution, it's important that you specify the template for your Sun Grid Engine. Um, Otherwise, it'll use a default one, which might not work. Um, and all the details about template specifications are given in the documentation. Um, so we support multiple uh, uh, clusters. Uh, we support uh, SGE, Slurm, LSF, Torque, OpenLava, and you can use any of these to evaluate your jobs. You can customize this parameter as much as you want. Uh, we so you can pass in like multiple arguments to customize this. Again, uh, I, don't, I don't want to go over all of them, but all of this is there in the documentation. Just to go over a quick example, which is relevant to bioinformatics instead of approximating pi, I suppose. Um, we want to do a pseudo alignment using salmon. Uh, I have some uh, fast Q files, paired and fast Q files about uh, 16 samples, I think. Uh, and I initiate a parameter batch tools param on this cluster. It's a Sun Grid Engine cluster again. And this time, I pass in the template argument. Uh, and I give it a template which is specific to my institution. I give it a list of samples. And then in, so as a function, I need to pass this BPL apply a function, right? And it's called salmon quant. All it does is, it's a system command which passes in salmon quantification for both the fastq files. That's pretty much it. And when I run BPL apply, uh, essentially it runs my jobs across my cluster. And it gives you this helpful output. Like you can see the number of jobs which are queued, running, and waiting, et cetera. So, why is this batch tools parameter important? It's because it extends this BIOC parallel. Uh, paradigm to the clusters using batch tools as the package behind it. Uh, it's the next generation of batch jobs param, if anybody has used that before. Uh, it takes care of like all the job registry management instead of the user taking care of that. 
And it also provides additional functionality to vectorize operations using uh, some of these functions like BP vect, BP vectorize, and BP iterate. And that's pretty much it. There's a full list of features. Uh, you can install the package using these two functions and look at the examples. Thank you.